Hi, this is Douglas at PCC, and this video will teach you how to configure and adjust the patient check-in process to meet the needs of your practice. Patient check-in in PCC EHR is pretty straightforward. You find the patient on today's schedule and click on the status or click patient check-in. You review any special alerts and go through a series of custom steps that you decide as a practice you'll do a check-in. Like updating insurance policy information, collecting the copay, etc. And when you're done, you click save and check in. Pretty straightforward, right? But your practice is going to have unique needs at the front desk. The check in window is a big part of how you form a long term relationship with families, families you love to see year after year, and your patient check in process should support that. You want to give your front desk team exactly what they need all in one place so they can spend as little time fiddling with the computer screen as possible. So let's look at configuration options for patient check-in. The first place we'll look is the protocol configuration tool. Uh, that's here under the tools menu. And you'll need to have a user role that allows you to run this tool, by the way. Protocol configuration is where you adjust all the many protocols and ribbons inside PCC EHR. Uh, to modify patient check-in, I'm going to click on the patient check-in builder. Okay, so here are the components that currently appear on my practice's patient check-in ribbon. We've got patient demographics, account demographics, uh, policies for insurance policies. I could click on these little grabber handles over here to move these around, to rearrange them. I could select a component and click to hide it or remove it from the ribbon. More likely, however, you'll want to add a tool for patient check-in. So I'm going to click Add. Next, I'll find a component. I'm going to add the Forms component. Great! Now the Forms component will appear during check-in, so my front desk staff can quickly print or add a form to the patient's record or send a form to their patient portal. I can double click on this component or any component to customize how it appears. Now for forms, I can first set whether or not the component should have an anchor button on the left hand side of patient check-in. I can also configure what that button's text will say, which could be handy. But more importantly, my practice has a new financial policy this year that everyone has to sign. Maybe we printed the financial policy or distributed it some other way, but maybe I want the folks during patient check-in to be able to print it out quickly. So I'm going to have it be a one-click button right on the patient check-in ribbon. So I will add items and pick my practice's financial policy form and save. Okay, cool. I just reviewed my patient check-in components. I moved them around if I wanted to. I added a new component to check-in and I configured that component. Now, let's say my practice has had a problem with making sure we always check the insurance card at check-in. I want to put in a note right on the check-in ribbon reminding folks to look at the card or scan the card or something like that. As you know, protocols are made up of components, and I can make a custom component in the component builder. I'll click on that up here, and then I'll click on the chart-wide components tab. Only chart-wide components appear in patient check-in. I'll create a new component by clicking Create. And I'll call it Always Review the Insurance Card. I don't recommend using exclamation points in general. They're kind of shouty, but we'll assume we mean it in a good-natured way. Okay, I'll save. And I've made a new component. Uh, now I need to add it to Patient Check-In. I'll go back into the Patient Check-In Builder. Click Add to add the component. I'll move it down here in front of the Policies component. There we go. I've added a custom component to the patient check-in process. Okay, before we go see what that looks like, let's add a new alert. PCC software almost never puts pop-up window alerts in front of people. People don't like them. They get in the way. But sometimes staff are supposed to be alerted when you really want to make sure your front desk gets an important message. So. Alerts are configured in the Clinical Alerts tool, which you'll find here under the Tools menu. 
I've decided I want to add an alert if the family hasn't yet signed the financial policy. Now, you can create alerts based on a patient or family status, based on a patient's last visit date, based on a diagnosis, based on lots of things. You can get really creative. For this alert, I want to have this text here, and I want it to appear if the family doesn't have a financial policy on file. And I only care about this alert during check-in. I've decided I don't need nurses or doctors or billers to see this alert when they open a patient chart. Okay, now what will make this alert appear? There we go. I added a new demographics criteria, account flag. This alert will appear if the account does not have the flag, financial policy on file. By the way, I always recommend that if you're going to create an alert, tell the person what they should do about it. Be specific. Make an alert as helpful as possible. Okay, whenever you make configuration changes, test your work, right? So let's check in a sample patient. Okay, great. I see the alert I wanted. That looks good. I think my staff can understand that. They'll know what to do. Next, I can see I've got the components my practice needs during check-in. I get one that reminds me, always review insurance card, exclamation point, exclamation point. Great, I can even add notes here indicating that I completed this step. And here's that new forms component with the new one click for printing out a financial policy form. All of our configuration changes worked. I'm done configuring patient check-in for my practice. Okay, we covered the basics, but of course there are other things you may want to configure for your practice. For example, you saw how we made a patient check-in alert based on the status. Your practice can create custom statuses like cash only, see billing office, or for a patient's pronoun preference. Whatever you want to track for a family or a patient. Some common patient check-in components have special options. For example, during patient registration, does your practice collect birth order of patients, or the mother's maiden name, or a driver's license number, or military ID number, or an old chart ID number? PCC's demographics component can support all of those needs. If you need them at patient check-in, you can add them in the component builder. Your front desk staff is probably the team that's going to help patient and families use the patient portal. So you may want to review your patient portal configuration. Your practice can turn on and off different parts of the patient portal, which can affect how the great patient portal users component appears during check-in. During patient check-in, you might be picking from a lot of lists, like picking a payment type or adding a new policy for a patient. These lists are stored in tables on your PCC system. You can add new payment types to your system. Of course, add brand new insurance carriers as well. Now for that, and for all of these other configuration topics, we've got help articles and videos online at learn.pcc.com. And the most important thing to remember, if you've got a special need, something you need to achieve during patient check-in, please talk to your PCC client advocate. They can help you configure patient check-in. And the way we do this at PCC, you can set something up now one way, try it out for a few months, come back and rearrange it, change it again if it's not working out for your front desk staff. You get to make PCC EHR work for you. You can read a written manual for everything I talked about in this video, also at learn.pcc.com. And thank you for watching.